we do have some information that we kind of regret telling you guys in a previous video about a year ago. Oh, this guy is cool. Oh, oh no, oh, get him off oh. me! <laughs> Danger is my middle name. We're sailing good, bad, and ugly. Three years ago, we bought our boat off Craigslist for $5,000. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We are known to break the rules and do things a little less traditional. Hit subscribe to join the adventure. Thanks to our patrons for keeping us going. What's up guys? Welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today we rented a car, we're getting off the boat, we have a few things we gotta do, hit up Home Depot, and then we're gonna see where this day runs into. We don't really know what we're gonna do besides doing a couple chores. Yeah, we gotta run around. We're really trying to build our dreams here, you know. We're really trying to little by little make our lives a little bit better. We're trying to get away from the U. We're just gonna be sailing GB pretty soon. <laughs> or maybe just sailing G. We're, That's dro what, we're dropping the U. We're dropping the B and the U. We're saying B Y to the B U. Bye bye. I think B Y E. What? I'm confused. I bet they're confused too. But let's we're head all on confused. this trip. I'm ready for that air conditioning car. Let's get it. If this car even has air conditioning, it doesn't have air conditioning. We got like the ugliest, worst rental in Puerto Rico, like a '93 Ford Ranger. If you're a Danger Ranger fan, why did we do that? Oh, for our, we needed a truck for Home Depot. We need a truck for the depot. So you know, we're gonna do what we gotta do. So get excited to see that old truck. <laughs> me and guess what vehicle we actually got i'm i'm waiting for this horrible truck that's gonna rust and die on us i tricked her sorry i had to fool you guys along with her but this is Kristen's. like we have a titan we have beast we love beast back home but this is like her dream car that she's always dreamed about doing so i laughed today when i picked up the rental and i wanted to surprise her <laughs> Boy. It's a cloudy day today, but I swear this is the hottest day of Puerto Rico we've had yet. I'm excited. You gotta have the best of both worlds. When you live on a boat, you get hot, you get to go in the wilderness and nature, and then sometimes you rent a car and you get that AC. Maybe you stop at McDonald's. Maybe you live the other land life for a little bit. Best of both worlds. What do you think, Matt? Yeah, you know, usually I make fun of these boys that are addicted to AC. You know, everyone's playing that hard role on Instagram, but these boys got to go without AC for a weekend. They'll start crying. So all them hunter boys, all the all the big boys out there catching big hammerhead sharks with all their muscles acting like tough guys. Well, you cut that AC and they'll cry, so. Especially when you have to wear a mask and you have no AC. Yeah, but this, I will say, every now and again is a treat. AC is a good time. a lot of mountain driving and rain in the rainforest we finally made it to our first location we're hitting up the fabric store Mercado de Tela <laughs> real exciting I know let's check it out all right guys so they had a lot of options I think you saw that they had many different colors they even had parrots and look like palm tree prints you know I got excited about that but Let's be realistic. I had to do neutral. I'm a neutral girl. So 
We bought the fabric, it was $6.99 a yard, and a man was very helpful in the fabric store, and he helped us decide that we should just buy enough fabric for the tops and the sides, and we'll use our old couch fabric for the back. So we saved money, and we ended up getting some new foam, because Matt has been sitting on a really flat couch, and if you guys have seen our videos previously, you've seen this flat couch. So I'm pretty excited. Let the sewing projects begin. If you've ever been to a fabric store with your wife, you know just how much fun that can be. <laughs> I had to look at every piece. Then I had to match the samples together to see why this one might be better than this one. I had to think of what was gonna show stains. I had to think about the cat's claws. Could it pull this one up? And what else? <laughs> Tell the story. The prices, I had to look oh, at the prices. Oh, you had to look at the zebra stripe, the lightning <laughs> bolts, the one with just glasses. There was one with a glass. We looked at every single one. I was like, no more with the nonsense. If it's got tiger stripes, you know we're not getting it. There let's was look, some really soft ones. Grays, brown, you had to touch tops. them all. Trust me, you know, it was, it was fun though. Because she looked at the damn microfiber <laughs> chamois. It was like a soft blanket type. And I said, get, stop. Get on with it, woman. I had fun and we got what we needed. I'm really excited about it now. Can't wait to see the final product, which is gonna be multiple hours of pain on the sewing machine. And probably not on this episode, right? Probably not, but we'll get there. All right, we're off again. Let's see where we end up next. We made it to Home Depot and I was pretty excited until I saw the line and now I want to throw up. <laughs> so we decided on choosing a floor. We're going to redo our floor. Exciting update. And we chose the color and we're not going to share what color it is. It was hard for us to choose and they didn't have so many in stock, but I think we chose a good one. Yeah, hot green. <laughs> Nuclear green, what I'm sharing. What the heck is hot green? Even if she's not sharing, I'm sharing hot green. But no, seriously though, we got to get the stuff to stick this down with. We got to go look for that. Okay. Google it. We're off. All right, guys. So it's day two of our car rental. Today, we're not doing so many chores. Well, we might do a few, but we don't always have to film all those. But we're gonna do some adventuring outdoors. So stay tuned, get excited, start hearing those birds whistling, tweet, 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 and we're about to get some exciting nature time. I feel pretty good. I can't wait to go see the wild side of Puerto Rico and you know, enjoy this gladiator a little bit more. guys so after 30 minutes of driving through the crazy mountains it was beautiful but a lot of curvy roads we made it to our stop it is called El Survivor and I think it's like a waterfall or some kind of hike I don't know we're about to see but there's a steep road we have to drive down to get to the parking lot right does it look dangerous or do you think it looks fine danger is my middle name uh, did it look dangerous a mm, little bit We'll see. We got a nice vehicle though, so I think we'll be Here safe. Here we go.
swimming hole. And it's just really nice out here. I see some, looks like cows up on the mountain, right in the rainforest. So I caught a freshwater crab swimming around down there. This one didn't have any claws. Looks like he would have claws, but they broke off at some point in his life. So he was pretty harmless. I figured I'd reach down and grab him up. But he's really, really strong. When he pushes off with his little tiny legs, he's very strong. I don't know if it's the fresh water that makes him so strong or what happens, but very strong for size. I'm gonna go ahead and eat him. No, you're not. A little salty. But yeah, pretty cool little crab. I'm gonna let him go now. I'm gonna let him off on his merry way. What do you think of this L Survivor? L Survivor is beautiful. It's a. Uh, Would you suggest it to fellow travelers? Gorgeous out here, yeah, for sure. It's pretty secluded. Um, there's some there's some bigger waterfalls up the river that I think more people go to, but over here it's all all ours. There's some cool little slides, and the water is like the perfect temperature to cool off, in. and it's pretty clean. They obviously take pretty good care of it here. He got a tail fin. He got the whole nine. He got a little yellow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. Buddy. Whoa, I'm gonna bite me. That could be poisonous. He's got a little yellow goatee. Oh, this guy is cool. Oh, oh no, oh, get him off me. Oh. So we made it back to the boat. We had a lot of fun with that rental car, but we had to return it. The waterfalls felt nice. It's definitely a must go see if you ever go to the south side of Puerto Rico. But today we're back into our boat projects. Matt has already started one that I'm actually pretty excited about, which we do have some information that we kind of regret telling you guys in a previous video about a year ago. I'll let him explain all that to you. Okay, so what we regret telling you was back in the day we did a probation video and we talked about storage. We got these crates. Here we are two years later and these crates are pretty worse for the wear. They did not hold up and our thought behind it, these crates were okay if you need them for storage, but we thought we could take the crates in and out and then someone could sleep in here if they had to. But after two years, no one's ever been in this room except for Kristen <laughs> to do her makeup. And these things coming in and out are a pain in the butt for me. And I can't get to my engine. There's an access panel here where I can get behind my engine, get to my uh, prop shaft and things like that. So this is just way too much stuff if I was at sea to move out of the way. So what I'm going to do is, measuring these bad boys out, I got my handy dandy trusty dusty husky that Aunt Barb got for me. Shout out Barb's Boat Works. I'm going to measure these up. I'm gonna see how much storage I'm gonna need for both of those. And then I'm gonna try to build a shelf right here permanently so it's a little more out of the way where I can put my cans and hopefully I can get to stuff a little bit better. Now, before I get started, I got a quick question for you guys. We used to play this game all the time. Back when I was a construction worker back in my younger days, we go like this. Okay, now. Just by eyeballing it. I want everybody to tell me what they think this measurement is. This is a fun game. You can't see the measurement on the back, but you gotta guess. I'll give you a hint. It's longer than eight inches, but it's shorter than 20 inches. Hashtag that's, never mind. It's shorter than 20, but it's longer than eight. You really did this while you were doing construction? Yeah, this Bad is how- Bad company, obviously. This is how we would choose, like if somebody wanted to dig a ditch. Oh. Or like it was rocky, we'd say, okay, let's let's go to the tape. Let's see who's better. I'd pull out one, and then he'd pull out one, and whoever guessed closer was the winner, and the other boy had to dig a ditch. So if you think you know what this is by eyeballing it, let me know.
Okay guys, so I got this thing done. I put a lip on it so that when the boat's going hee-haw, hee-haw back and forth, <laughs> it doesn't drop off all my cans. I'm a little worried about the stuff at the top because it's glass, so I may move that to somewhere else. Put the other stuff in here that won't get broken, maybe chips or something like that. So still got a little bit to iron out, but I made this. I engineered it in mine to hold about 200 pounds, which is a little bit more than I think is ever gonna be on it. But I've been in here yanking on it, Pulling on and you know me I'm pretty strong so if I can't rip it off the wall it ain't coming off the wall and now we have plenty more room and you still have shelving up here for more stuff than what was in those crates yep and we have about now that I've looked into it we have like 17 cans of black beans so we're about to have Peter pop off on them frijoles negros guys it's a hot one out here this is what our fourth summer living out on the boat with no AC we've been dying out here and today's project you look pretty sweaty, pretty dirty, but we got it done and we're pretty hyped on it. So this week's been fun. We got to rent a car. We have some new projects coming. We also, I tried, I put our new flooring out, which I'm still keeping the color surprise. And then I just laid out the fabric to see if it was going to look good. And it doesn't look good together. We made a mistake. I should have took a sample and brought it into Home Depot and matched it up with the flooring, but I didn't. So now I have a journey to hit the fabric store again, which I'm not mad about. <laughs> And I'm probably, oh, I just saw manatee back there. Sorry, guys. Well, this is a whole manatee area. There's baby manatees and everything. But anyways, so still got to work on that. But we just wanted to say thanks for watching, guys. And we'll see you next week. Make sure you like, subscribe. You got anything to say? No, that's pretty much it for me. I'm good. <laughs> Bye, guys.